Hello, everyone. I'm Pastor Robert, and this is your seal moment. I want to speak with you this morning about unity in diversity. Go with me in your Bible to Galatians, the third chapter, and we'll start at verse 26. And I'm reading out the New King James Version. For you are all sons of God, that means daughters, one in Christ, through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized in Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. We are all one. We are united in Christ. If you're a believer, you're one with the Father, you're one with the Holy Spirit, and you're one with the Son. Now, we are in the body of Christ. And I want you to go do me a favor. This is your first challenge. I'm going to give you two. This is the first one. The first challenge is this. I would like you to go back and listen to the CL Talk message that Pastor Air ministered on June the 3rd, 2020. And it talks about one body. He did a masterful job of breaking it down and showing us who we are in Christ Jesus. So please do that. Now let's continue on. Let me define unity for you. Unity means one purpose, one vision, oneness of sentiment, oneness of affection, and oneness of behavior. But this does not mean that we're not different now. You know, there are different races, different cultures, different traditions. There are different, there are even differences in families. But we all come together, which is so vitally important. And especially for the body of Christ, we have the blood of Jesus as our Savior brings us into unity, which is so vitally important. Now, our diversity is our strength. And the devil don't want you to know this. Because when we complement each other, which is so vitally important, we strengthen each other. However, if I use my diversity to have superiority over someone else, that's not good, and that's not of God. Now, diversity means to be different. What is being different? Different means I don't like you because you don't look like me, or you don't act like me, or you're not in my family. That's not God. That is of the devil. And you know what he comes to do. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But we're not going to allow that to happen because we are united with the Father. And that spirit of division is what we've been seeing in our country over the last week. And he's come to do those things to bring chaos, to divide. But we... As believers, we're united with Christ. Therefore, we're united, united to our brothers and our sisters too, which is so vitally important. Everything that we do, we must respond in unity. The unity that the Father has for us, that we can give to other people, is so vitally important. Remember this. Treat others like you want to be treated. I don't care who they are, where they come from, what they look like. Just put yourself in their shoes and say, how can I serve them? which is so vitally important. Remember what we read in Galatians 3? Jesus said, there's no Jew, there's no Greek, we're all free. And we love each other. But don't let the trap of coming in, thinking that pride come in, thinking that you are more than somebody else. That's a trick of the enemy. That's not who we are. I want to leave you with the last challenge. And it's in Psalm 133, verse 1. And it says this, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. May we remember, despite our diversity, we are one in Christ Jesus. And the world needs to see us too. I'm Pastor Robert. This has been your CL Moment. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love you, and we'll see you next time. Be blessed.